All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Wahabar Chakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rechakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to get into a lesson on how the chip is becoming more uh, common, okay? You know, in our daily lives. And what you see on screen is a photo that the uh, that the brothers of Ruba Bell uh, in our camp posted. And he was saying that basically um, his job, all right, through like, you know, the healthcare uh, program is offering this thing called uh, um, o Ozer Deck, okay? And basically what this is, it's a um, a chip, okay, that's implanted um, uh, uh, behind your eye so it can help out with vision, all right? Because some people, you know, as they get older, They'll have, you know, maybe fluid buildup, okay? You know, they'll have, you know, certain things happen to their eyes, which, you know, affects their sight, okay? So point being is, you know, they're pushing this chip. And what's funny is, I'm going to go on this right side. I'm going to zoom in on it. Here's the implant. And as they always show it, Okay, and as they always push when they uh, talk about this topic is what? How it's the size of a grain of rice. Okay, you see? And like I said, hey, this is becoming, uh, you know, uh, common now. They're really trying to get it out there. You know, so people aren't afraid of this new technology. You see? So when Esau really comes down and he forces, you know, people to uh, take the MOTB, all right, the Revelation 13 and 16, you know, a lot of people are going to, going to be willing. It's not going to be anything far-fetched to them, all right? Because a lot of them are, will have um, medical procedures already done with these chips, so they'll be comfortable with it. A lot of them will be, um, um, you know, you, you'll have these, I guess you could call them, you know, uh, 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 you know these tech-savvy people, right? They'll already be, you know, in the know because look, you know, things such as, you know, the Google or not Google, but the Apple, um, what is it, visors, that's getting people prepped up, you know, and you have what those, you know, the, the, you have the metaverse, you know, they have their own uh, uh, RV system, you see, all this stuff is leading to, to this uh, new world that Esau wants to uh, establish, okay, you know, he basically wants transhumanism. And through transhuman, uh, 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 through the transhumanism, he could control the people. That's what this is all about at the end of, of the day. Okay? Because he really wants to be Yahweh Bashim Shah. That's what it comes down to. He wants to be the most high. All right? But, yeah, this stuff is getting pushed. Okay? And, um, you know, it's... It's becoming more common. And I want to start off with this scripture. I just want to get two scriptures because this is going to be a fast lesson. Because it says here in Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21, it says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged and every vision faileth? Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any v uh, vain vision nor flattering uh, divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord Yahweh. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And it shall be uh, no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, for I will say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh. And you see, that's what, what's happening. We're telling our people 
Okay, in specific, those, you know, uh, those rebellious Israelites that are actually in the truth, right? You know, these other camps that look, that microchip, all right, is the mark of the beast. Okay, and this is not, you know, a conspiracy theory, because I remember when um, you had uh, uh, Nate from the IUIC, all right, Bishop Nate, right? He, he, he was a... Uh, 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 you know, pushing that on his congregation, how we're quote unquote conspiracy theorists here at you know a great millstone, because we talked about you know the the chip, you know. But look, it's not a conspiracy. These things are in your face. Okay, the the the, the vision, okay, is coming to pass. Meaning the prophecies are coming to pass. Hey, the Lord spake it, and now He's performing it. You see. And as we continue, okay, as time passes by, this is going to be, like I said, more common. This is not going to be, a, you know, something that's far-fetched or unusual. This is going to be in your, your, your daily life, okay? And then eventually, like I, man, like I said, you're, you're literally going to start seeing people scanning their hands or their foreheads at the checkout line. Like I tell brothers, and that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for someone that I see in public literally just scan their hand. You know? And I know there's some people who got it out there, but I want to see it, like, personally, so to speak. Because once, hey, once you see it, you know, in your daily life, then that's how you know we're going to get real, we're basically real close. All right? But point being, though, is, look, that Revelation 13 and 16 is going to come to pass. All right? It's going to come to pass. And it is, you know, the uh, it, it, it's going to, you know, what it is, is it, it's the mark of the beast, man. It, it's the implementation, okay, of these microchips. You know, whether you like it, believe it or not. All right, you see? That's what's coming. It's not Christianity. It's not an embargo. Okay, it's not sin. There's so many different things, you know, people have said. It's not these things. No, it's it's this right here. Right there. Okay? You see? But let me keep reading. All right? And uh this is back in uh Revelation or it's like not Revelation, Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 27 now. Son of Salaki 26. Again the word of the Lord Yahweh came to me saying, "Son of man, behold the day Salaki behold they of the house of Israel say the visions that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord Yahweh. And I'll say this, you, you might even have particular individuals that do believe that this is the mark of the beast, but they believe that it's a far off, that, look, it's not going to happen in my lifetime, all right? It's going to, you know, pass, you know, I'm, or I'm going to pass away, and it might, you know, happen, and, you know, with my great-grandchildren. But no, as the scriptures say, th th these things aren't, aren't going to be prolonged. They're going to happen, okay? And with this particular prophecy, look, it, it, it's here, okay? It's here, you know? I'll, st I'll just say this, though. It's going to start becoming common, though. That's the thing. Because right now, it's, it, it is here, but it's kind of like underground, so to speak, you know? It's not mainstream. But they're, they're, they're getting to that point. All right? And they're getting to that point. And I'll say this, especially once Esau, you know, really pushes it out as a, a, a miracles. Because that's what this chip is going to uh, be for, for these people. It's going to be that miracle device. Once he really starts, you know, pushing it, uh, uh, it out and people will get wind of it, they're just going to uh, 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 bow down to the, to the beast, man. You know? You see? But let me get this. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at verse, what is this? Uh, 13. And he means that this is Esau, okay? Do with great wonders. It's 
Salakia. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the, on the earth in the sight of the men. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. All right, and, th and this is what part of his miracles right here. Look, this thing it helps cure your eyesight. All right, you know, it, it, as it says in there, it, it helps reduce the inflammation and the fluid buildup. Okay, and the swelling behind your eyes, so then there's nothing, you know, uh, wrong with your vision. Look, e even with those neural links, right? That uh, uh, Elon Musk is developing and pushing forth. They said that, you know, it's going to help those who are paraplegics. You you can literally have an artificial, you know, leg, okay, or arm, you know, what do you, what do you call those, uh, prosthetics, right? You can have one of those and, and move it with your mind, with just your thoughts. You see? Those are miracles. They show you that in the... Uh, um, I think it was in a, oh man, what movie was it? I think it was the remake of RoboCop. It was one of those uh, uh, movies, you know, where, you know, they deal with that transhumanism and, they, they, and they, they were showing that. How, you know, somebody that lost their, you know, their, uh, uh, their hearing, that they were uh, able to, you know, play their guitar and their, you know, uh, I think their piano again or their harp. I forgot what it was. And they were able to play that music again. They were able to hear what they were playing. You know, you see, so that's what he's going to be pushing. And a lot of people are going to fall for the okie doke. You know, they're going to want their vision back. They're going to want their, um, their mobility back. Okay. I'll say this. A lot of people, they're going to be like in that movie, you know, upgrade or they're going to be, um, oh man, what is that movie called? Limitless, right? They're going to take the chip. In order to be able to speak, you know, all these languages in the world. To be able to build computers. You know. Be able to uh, to retain all the historical information, whatever. They're just going to take it just to have these things, you know, inside of them. Why look up Google when it's in me now? You know what I'm saying? You see? But let me keep reading it. It says... Um, Revelation 13 and 13 and 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which that image, just so um, I'll say this if you don't know, that's not talking about the, the image of uh, JC. It's talking about the ideology, okay, of this place, the philosophies, all right? Make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. All right. And you got to remember, this is a, 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 the reincarnation of Rome. Rome 2.0. All right. Hey, uh, um, the scriptures talk about how that deadly wound was healed. All right. That's talking about how Rome fell and then it came uh, uh, back. It was uh, resurrected. All right. By America. You see? Let me keep reading. And it says verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, which means, which it's the Greek word, pieo, which means, he, he formed, fashioned, or constructed. Basically, long story short, look, this is not organic. This was um, a, uh, a pre-planned operation. You see? This guy's got everything, you know, um, you know, everything headed towards that mark of the beast. All right? He, he, these elites, they, they know what they're doing. All right, it says here, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right, which that goes into the word 
a karagma, that word mark, all right, which means, you know, when we start breaking that, that word down, basically goes into a cutting of the flesh so you can insert, you know, something in it. And in order to um, get this chip in you, you have to cut your flesh open, okay? You have to, you know, uh, uh, puncture it, you see? That's how you get it. Let me keep reading. Receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save, which means accept, he that had the mark or the image of the beast or the number of his name. All right? And you see, eventually, this is go this thing is going to be your... Um, it's going to be several things. It's going to be your identification. Okay? It, it, it might be... Uh, 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 your medicine, you know, it could be your, you know, your curing device, so to speak. And then the the, the, the main reason why we know that this is uh, uh, the mark of the beast is it's going to hold your financial information. This is going to be the new uh, form of currency. All right. Because look, physical cash is going to be eliminated. Your debit cards are going to be eliminated. Your Apple Pay, your Android Pay is going to be eliminated. It's going to be this. Okay, right there. That's going to be your new form of currency. What you have on this chip. All right? And that's that. And if you don't have it, you are going to be, you know, excommunicated, so to speak, out of this society. And that's where the uh, te uh, uh, the test of faith you know, comes into place. Are you going to bow down to the image of the beast so you can eat and live in this system? Or are you going to rely on Yahweh Bashim Shai for everything, all right, and bow down to, uh, 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 to them, the true living uh, uh, power, you know? But um, that's pretty much it. But you know, you know, this was a heavy, um, this was a heavy uh, sighting that the brother saw, man. You know, you know, he ended up catching this at you know, uh, I think he said it was his job or at the doctor's. It was something I forgot. I got I'd have to double check. But you know, he, you know, he ended up taking a picture and showing this to us, and you know, hey, this just shows us that we're getting closer. You know, to these, you know, uh, these times, man. Okay? And this should make you excited because we're almost there. Once this becomes mainstream, this becomes mandatory, that means our salvation is around the corner. As the scriptures say, our salvation, uh, um, what was that, Ro uh, Romans 13 and 11? It says our salvation is uh, nearer than we uh, uh, believed. Okay? It's coming. But uh, with that, you know, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.